All right, today I want to talk about amazing new features of one click configuration in five minute multi boxing, otherwise known as the 5MMB um, batch file. Um, I'm working toward a place where new users can just jump into multi boxing and um, never have to touch a hotkey net file never have to touch their smxten.lua file um, they just jump in so here we have your typical world of warcraft vanilla wow directory all set up for multi-boxing you've got your hockey net you've got 5mmb.bat and 5mmb.tickle you've got um, your tune list which is right here on the screen and you've got your new tune list command reference um, if you look in your tune list command reference um, you'll see dozens of new commands created um, and explained for this tune list file. But in its most basic form, the tune list file simply looks like this a list of box commands. Each of these box commands will become a window on the screen somewhere. Right here you see 40. Alright? So if I were to double click 5mmb.bat right now, you would say you want to overwrite the five that hockey net file. Yes. Do you want to overwrite SM Extend? Sure. Done. I don't ask multiple questions anymore because everything that you need to know about how about your setup now goes inside this tune list command file. And the tune list command file will produce at its in its most basic form. Um, let me turn off my mic sound. Ah. And the tune list um, command file will produce in its most basic form a hotkey net dot text script that looks like this. And the the um, the thing you're looking for in your hotkey net text script is simply all your windows defined and a alt control m raid it's just the default raid that gets created if you throw 20 lines in your tune list it'll create a 20 line default raid if you throw five lines in your tune list it'll create a five line control alt m raid if you throw 10 lines it'll create a 10 line raid right it we've got these integral sizes that we support 5 10 20 and 40 and it'll create those sizes of raids if you have that many lines now if you have 30 tunes it's going to shrug and it's going to create a 40 man raid with only 30 tunes right um there'll only be 30 tunes in a 40 tune configuration um but that's not really what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about today is um, the ability to create, wow, whatever raids you want simply by adding raid letters at the end of each line. So let's say I wanted to create a five man raid with Ever Smile My Tank and I wanted to make it Raid F. Uh, I want to throw Ever Smile in it. I want to throw, I want to throw a Warlock in it. Um, I want to throw a great healer and we need a, a mage. Let's put ice flows in it. Is that five? One, two, three, four. That's only four. Okay, well, let's put a hunter in it. Five. Now, when I click 5mb.bat, something amazing happens 
if we look in the hockey in that text file that's created we suddenly have an alt control M raid yes that's true but we now have an alt control F raid with only five boxes and um, I noticed those five boxes are really big windows. Now for the purposes of this video, I've turned my resolution down to 1K resolution, not 4K resolution. So clearly these windows are going to be too big. So I can't use that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add um, monitor 1K. Okay, that monitor is a new command. It's in their command reference. Double click it. Hit yes, yes. HockeyNet text file. Scroll down. Control Alt F. Now the windows are much smaller. So if I do a Control Alt F, um, actually, you know what? I need to actually have HockeyNet running and make sure HockeyNet is, by the way, when uh, you're finished running the scripts. You just um, close the windows. I leave the windows open so you can see what happened at the end of the script. Um, I could close it if I wanted to. Okay, so now I'm running into this problem where I'm starting a hotkey net, but um, the last time it was running, it was running on a 4K monitor, so it spawns the window off in La La Land. So I'm going to delete the window location section of HKN settings.txt and try again. All right, our script is loaded. Now, if I hit Control Alt F, look at that! It's a five-man raid that I specified just by adding its raid letter at the end of the window. All right. Um, what happened to all these other ones that didn't have any letter? Well, all those other ones that didn't have any letter got added to a default raid, the M raid. So you notice the M raid now doesn't have, see I added um, um, Eversmile, Brutaliar, and Cashme. Notice Eversmile, Brutalio, Brutaliar, and Cashme now do not appear in the M raid anymore. Well, gosh, Todd, that's no good. I want them in the M raid. Well, once you start specifying raids like that, now you now you've got to specify who you want in what raid. So I'm just going to put M raid M at the end of every line. So if I go down here in VI, that's really easy. Substitute the last uh, letter of the line with space M. Boom. Notice I still have F raid, but I've added M to the end of every line. All right. So let's run the batch file again. Yes, of right. Yes, blah, blah, blah. And now we look at the hotkey net file. Is Eversmile back in the M raid? Why, yes, he is. Eversmile's back in the M raid. So let's make a, a 20 man raid um, and see if that's handled properly on a. 1K monitor. I don't know. I, I think so. I think I hash out 20 man properly. Let's uh, let's make one and look. I'll just uh, go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Um, call this Z. Oops. I need a space. Okay. Oh man. Okay, there we go. There's a twenty man raid. Uh 
Huh, that was 21. I thought it was 21. Stick that off. We, we, if, if I had left it 21 like that, we would have gotten a Z raid that was 40 men because it will bump it up to the next size if you use too many. So double click the batch file. Yes, yes. And let's see if we have a Z raid now. Well, don't see if we have a Z raid. We're just going to go to HockeyNet and we're going to reload and Alt Control Z. Okay, so I handle I handle a twenty man raid on a one K monitor gracefully. All right, I'll let them all pop. So in this way, you can quickly um, create uh, raids of all different sizes and um, have them automatically configured on your screen when you're ready um, to click them. Um, but it doesn't stop there. Okay, so let's say you have multiple computers. Yes, multiple computers. And um, you've got room for a 20 man raid on this computer. You've got room for a 20 man raid on that computer. Um, so you want to run a 40 man raid. Well, you can do that. Um, you simply specify what computer you want each window to be on by adding a number after the letter. So this is going to be computer one. Well, let's just uh, let's just mass substitute the first twenty. So the first twenty are going to be um, On computer one. Notice how I change all those M's to M1's. The second 20 are going to be on computer two. Um, let's try a better search term than that. So the second 20 are going to be on computer 2. Now, you need to set this up the way you think it should be set up. Um, what I normally do when I do something like this is I interleave the, the um, commands. And instead of using these box commands, what I'm going to do is go down here and use some box commands I've already set up. Alright, so this is actually my configuration for my normal rating, my own normal rating. Notice I have M's and I have M2's. If you don't put a number next to a rate, it assumes you want it on the main computer. Alright, so it adds an implied 1 to it. Um, I have a Z raid and I have an M raid. Um, notice though, I make my M raid pop. Um, the first two I make, the first three I make pop on this computer, then I make one pop on that computer, then one on this, then one on that, then one on this, then one on that, then one on this. It makes everything pop faster. When you're popping windows alternately, um, your computers configure themselves faster. So let's write this out. Double click our batch file. And oh, 
yeah, it's complaining about computer too. All right, so I tried to do this without telling you the other half of it. You have to, if you have multiple computers, it wants to know what the IP address of the second computer is. So we use the computer command to do that. The computer command is simply computer space which number computer it is. Um, you only really need, if you're, if you're using two computers, you only really need um, the number two to find because the number one computer is going to be local in the hotkey net file. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to come out with, as local. If you want, you can actually add the number one computer's IP address. All right, And it will put, instead of local in your hotkey net file, it will put the number one computer's IP address. This is useful if you want to use this hotkey net file on other computers to control number one. Um, this makes this hotkey net file universal for all your computers. Um, right now, I'm just going to have computer two defined. So, double click that. All right, now when I hit my Control Alt M raid, it's going to pop me to 20 man sets across two computers. I have HotkeyNet running over here. At least I think I did. For all you know, it's running over there and popping Windows just fine. And, um,. Uh, now you've got HotkeyNet running on two separate computers. So I'm actually going to stop it right now so that we don't have to wait for this to complete load completely. All right, and we need to talk about more commands. Okay, keyboard choice. There's a new command called keyboard. If you um, live in Europe, you need to change this to UK or Deutschland, DE for German or Swedish keyboard. Um, and the only thing that uh, changes is um, whether you are using OEM five or OEM eight for your tilde key designation in your hockey net file. All right, we talked about monitor um, choices. Okay, raid name. At the beginning of your SM extend dot Lua file, which you should not need to look at anymore, um, you will find a an important variable for people who like to run um, five-minute multiboxing raids together and it is the raid name MB raid multibox my raid one alright well that raid name needs to be different for each multiboxer who's operating within the same raid so here you can define raid name so let's put raid name Todd's raid um, bomb follow when you're fighting Baron uh, you need somebody to follow the, uh, you need someone uh, to follow if you have the bomb and you move that person back behind the, the stack out of range so people follow him when they have the bomb and they don't blow up the stack. So name your bomb follower there. Notice capitalization means nothing anywhere in this script for anything except your passwords. Right, your passwords are the only place where capitalization matters in this script all the way through it. Gaze follow when you're fighting the raptor boss. Um, someone needs to stay behind and they, um, members of your raid need to run back to that guy if they have threatening gaze. Dedicated healers. All right, if you, if you have, um, if you're in certain boss fights like the first boss in AQ40, or uh, that is not the first boss in AQ40, but Sentinel, 
the Anubiseth Sentinel pools in AQ40 or several bosses in Molten Core, you might want dedicated healers. Those are healers that um, match up to a tank, only heal that tank, and nobody else heals that tank. All right, um, that's so they can go off by themselves and um, fight some raid uh, mob while out of range of the rest of the raid. This is where you set that up. Normally, don't mess with dedicated healers unless you're really doing um, advanced raid boss content. Gold 2. So Gold 2 says um, when, whenever you get gold, it goes to this guy with the exception of 35 gold. I think it's set to right now. Um, so Eversmile, my main, uh, whenever he's in a raid, all the gold funnels toward him when it's over 35 gold on a character. And if a character doesn't have 35 gold, Eversmile will give him enough gold to get him to 35 gold. BOE2. Anytime you pick up a BOE, um, a buy on equip item, you may want to sell it, DE it, otherwise keep it, but get it out of the way. Uh, BOE2, you, the two names you list will divide up those BOEs in their bags. Um, your main, who in my case is Eversmile, will pick up the BOE and the next time you auto trade, when you hit the one key, uh, those BOEs will move off toward whoever's collecting them. These are all called collectors. Item 2. You can put any item you want in item 2 and it will search for a pattern, that, that pattern of the item in the name, and move that item off toward that character. You don't need to use quotes unless there are spaces in the name, like gold and pearl. You don't have to put quotes around, um, you don't have to put quotes around player names, you don't have to get capitalization right, you don't even have to get capitalization right in the um, item list. So let's put our item twos in. It's really important that you get your um, enchanting reagents squared away now because we have coming very soon, already partially working, automatic raid enchanting going out. Uh, finding what your who you who has unenchanted items and opening up a trade window with them with your main enchanter and enchanting those items. All right, finally raid order um, is not implemented yet. By the time you watch this video, it might be. Auto delete. There is a list inside of smextend.lua. It's called the list. Notice the list is empty by default. Okay, so you don't auto delete anything. But if you add things to the list, um, anytime you press the one key, all your characters will delete those things. And what you want on the list is crap, crap items. So you can add auto delete to delete stuff you no longer want or never wanted. Um, the usage of auto delete is item name or pattern and then a number. The number represents how many stacks you're willing to keep in your bags. So if I said auto delete rune cloth but you can keep five stacks. Anything over five stacks delete then I'd put a 5 there. Notice you can add as many auto deletes on one line as you want or you can keep each auto delete on a separate line which I like to do. Notice my auto deletes are going to be different from your auto deletes. Um, I don't have for example I don't have uh, any desire to craft potions so I delete you know bruise weed that drops from mobs here and there. Um, 
and the only thing I really keep multiple versions of is the Twilight Cultist um, equipment that you have to uh, put on to fight the Windstone bosses. Those I'll keep like six of. I notice I keep one powerful mojo. Um, I delete all scrolls. Um, there's my Twilight Cultist robes. There's six of each. Cowl, mantle. And so now we try. Yes, yes. And let's go look at our SM Extend. See what the list says. Look, the list is now populated, and you didn't have to mess with square brackets. You didn't have to mess with quotation marks. You didn't have to mess with Jack. Um, how about um, stuff to trade track? Okay, so here's your your FSR stuff to track variable. You don't need to know where this is. You never need to look at it, but you notice it's set up with all the stuff that I put in my item to list. And you didn't have to do any of that. So that's it. That is the current state of 5-Minute Multiboxing.bat. All right, the other thing I wanted to talk about is for you old hands who've been using 5-Minute Multiboxing for years and um, uh, already know how their way around smxtend.lua file and how to put their tunes in and everything, well, maybe you don't want me to mess with your smxtend.lua file, but that's because you don't want to grab all your tunes out of it. Well, I've given you a batch file just for that. It's called Extract Tunes. If you double-click that, it will go into your World of Warcraft directory. Notice you're running all of this from your WoW directory. It'll go into your World of Warcraft directory and create a list of tunes on every server you play on as a template for um, your 5MMB batch file. So the, the, the list looks like this. It produces one of these box commands and it will instead of putting the role it'll it'll all either know he's a tank it'll know he's a healer from looking at the sm extend file or it'll say unknown you have to change unknown to whatever you know his role to be but you get your list of templates to start with um and you can now do the one click configuration yourself even if you're an old hand so now when I hand you an smextend.lua file, you put it in super macro add-on directory, double click your 5mmb.batch 5 5 file, and you're done. You've got the new release. Um, it's as simple as that. That's it. That's the one-click system. Uh, I hope everybody starts using it. It does have some limitations that I'm quickly addressing, but there are advanced limitations like I have a 1K monitor over here, a 4K over here, a 1K over there. We'll work with all that. All right, we'll get every every configuration everybody wants. We're going to support it in the one-click configuration. So, Bye. love you. And that's it. Um, so let me know on Discord if you're using it. Let me know um, um, if it's working for you or what's not working, and we will fix it.